Hi folks, uh, welcome to my video blog. My name is Damien Lees and I compete with the UK FBA and WMBF. I got my pro card uh, back in 2015, so I've been a pro now, this is my third year. Um, I took a year out in 2016, competed last year and I'm competing again this year. So uh, just to briefly uh, give you a bit of background from last year, um, I competed at the uh, UK FBA WMBF International. Place four from the lightweights, was a little bit off condition, um, by about three, four pounds. And then just got a little bit tighter where then I uh, went to the Worlds and placed second. Absolutely over the moon with that. My goal was probably top five, top six. So to get a second, you know, I was absolutely elated with it. Would have been nice to win, of course. Um, I probably would have retired if I wouldn't, um, but there you go. So it was really competitive, was, uh, I think it was about 15 pros in the class, something like that. So it was really good just to, um, to compete with the best of the best um, at your weight class really. Um, so on to this season, um, I've decided to compete. And usually I take a year out every other year if I can, but this year I've decided to, to compete. Got the blessing off my wife and um, you know, circumstances are right I think to compete this year. So I competed, well sorry, I started prep back in May time, so I'm 14 weeks in. I went from uh, around about 181, 182 pounds, which is about 82, 83 kilos, something like that. Um, and now I'm down to about 170-ish, so I'm down to about uh, 70, just over 77 kilos with uh, 12 weeks to go. So uh, my intentions this year, uh, Soul in at the moment is just to focus on the UK FBA WMBF International, which is in the UK. Um, so like I say, we're, we're 12 weeks out from that. I would say roughly I've got about eight pounds to drop. So I'm in a pretty good position. Uh, I would say it's best I've ever looked for, for, um, for the, being this far out before contest. So hopefully um, I should be able to reach pretty good condition around about two weeks out. If I'm ready two weeks out, I'll be really happy. Um, and then I can maybe adjust calories and take it from there really. Um, I had um, basically one of my uh, best friends had a look at me yesterday and he was saying he agrees I'm bang on track for where I need to be, uh, maybe slightly ahead, which is good. Um, if I can as well, um, when I get a chance to get a, you know um, an okay lighting, I'll uh, put pictures up uh, and odd videos, things like that, uh, as part of the blog really. So um, I may do this weekly or fortnightly, I'm not quite sure yet, but um, thanks for following anyway. So um, first of all, uh, just to give you a brief update on my macros for those interested. So my macros on training days are uh, 315 carbs, 215 protein and around about 55 fat. So that works out at about four grams of carbs per kilo body weight. 2.6, 2.7 grams of protein per kilo of body weight and uh, about 0.8, something like that, um, per grams of body weight for fat. So percentage wise, it works out uh, for those interested are about 50, 55% carbs, around about 30 protein and about uh, 15, 20% fat. There abouts anyway. Um, did the calculations the other week. But the, that's where we are thereabouts. Um, so um, training days wise, I train five days a week. So you'll see the macros at five days a week. And then two days a week are my rest days where then my carbs are down to about 280. Um, so at this point now, um, that might seem low to some people, but for me, it's a pretty good amount. I mean, last year I had to get as far down as 170 carbs on both training and a rest day. So um, at the moment, it's pretty good. Uh, and I'm hoping that I don't need to come down too far now. I can just kind of like cruise as much as I can and maybe do a little bit of increases uh, here and there uh, if I can do really. So uh, for training, um, nothing special about the training really. Um, I don't do super high volume. I don't do super low volume neither. It's kind of moderate. I will do uh, a push pull leg split. So I will train like I say five days a week where I'll do um, Monday, Tuesday, rest Wednesday, train Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then rest Sunday uh, on a push pull leg split. I do uh, two rotations, so I'll do push pull legs uh, one workout and push pull legs two, just to rotate the movements as well. Um, rep ranges can be uh, as low as say five or six for things like deadlifting, uh, but some weeks can, can be as high as eight to 10 as well. 
So I will cycle reps uh, on the compound movements and things like that. Um, I've got slight niggles, uh, as you would expect for someone training so long and uh, at my age now at 41. So um, I do have to train around some exercises, uh, particularly chest work as well. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. I can do, uh, tend to do most exercises uh, from there. Um, so I think I'll leave my blog at, at that for now. Um, if you've got any questions or anything like that, you know, feel free to ask me. Um, uh, what I might do is put up another video because um, with some progress pictures or videos, like I said before, um, I might do that tomorrow if I can, uh, if I can get a chance and you know get someone to film it or whatever. Um, failing that, then I will do a blog. Uh, the next blog might be in a week or two weeks, uh, but I'm hoping to keep it up maybe every week to every fortnight uh, if I can, just in the run up to the UK. Um, just to finish up, I'm really excited about competing at the UK show. Um, I know uh, guys who are already in, my fellow um, pros, Derek Brettel's in it, um, Ben Howard, Thomas Rasmussen, there'll be the Italians over as well, so it's going to be a really, really, really tough class and I can't wait to compete at them, with them. Um, hopefully at my best and uh, I'm going to give it my all and we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching and uh, like I say, if you've got any questions or anything, just give me a shout. Cheers.